Love Collective. Love Collective. Uh, thank you for clicking on my channel. Clearing out the negative energy. Clear away, spirit guides. Clear away negativeness. Help to bring us a clear, concise message today. They'll bring us one collective. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, collective. Okay. All right. I'm trying to think. I ain't did these cards in a while. We'll see what it says, collective, now. Okay. So don't get mad if it says something. Uh, it might not pertain to you. It might pertain to somebody else if it says something crazy. I don't know if it will, collective. I'm just saying if it does. We got to learn to get this shit right now. We got to learn to get this stuff right. I'm, I'm going to get it right eventually. I'm going to get it right. Cleared my energy. Ding. Let me do this for the collective. Ding. Taught me. Ding. Okay. That's what I did, collective. Do you hear me? All right. So God is within you. You will not fall. That's what it said. See, little guy. See, ain't it she pretty? You're not going to fail. You're not going to fall. It'll be okay. It'll all be okay. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty heads off out here, women and guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right, let's see what these say. I ain't did these in a few days. These was my first ones. I, I draw new, remember? I like them. Oh, there's a few of them with different something on it. I'll tell you what it says. Hold on. Okay, collective. I see what it said. I'm leaving it how it said it like that. Look at that one, Collective. I love it. It's one of my favorites I drew. Do y'all love it? I do too. I do love it too. Okay. Now some of this is old studies that they did long ago, and that's what I know, okay? Oh, is that what she <laughs> Another one point out. Okay, so here's what's going on for you guys out there. It's for you guys, collective. You guys and gals out here, it says. A need to open your throat chakra to let love reign in your heart. It says keep a bluebird in your heart. Okay, so you're needing to open your throat chakra. Somebody's trying to keep your... Or you're doing it to yourself. Um, maybe it's because you can't kick your old habits. Well, we all got a lot of bad habits. Somebody might be eating acid or eating pills during the day. And you're going to have to kick this habit. That's what it's saying. I don't eat acid, no. Huh, I don't. And um, I went to, uh, what do you call it, rehab? Is that what it's called? But, you know, you go to a doctor and you talk to them. So, I mean, I don't know who it's for. But somebody needs to listen up here, okay? And up here it says, oh, that's why some, oh, two came out. On romancy, you may interpret your dreams and visions in the night. So you might be somebody who interprets your dreams and visions in the night. And um, the reason that money ain't come to you, because that's what eight means. That means abundance coming to your life. It's because you... Um, You're not grounded well because people can see your frenzy energy. That's what it's saying. 
But this is talking about um, the eight reaches out into the world to establish its authority in positions of material power. The rewards for its past efforts come in equal proportion to the wisdom of past choices. This is the karmic period where eight reaps what it has sown. People look to you for leadership. So people might might not be uh, thinking of you as a leader because you might have went to therapy and you might take like medication to make you not search for drugs. Well, I think they're dumb, whoever they are, and I don't want them on my channel. I'm sorry I don't because that's the wrong way to think because it really is. Uh, a lot of people have to take it for the rest of their life so they don't search. Sorry, ma'am. I, mean, I don't know who this is for, but I mean, I'm just saying, I'm reading it for somebody. Um, but the essence of number nine, nine, this is about release. Nine knows that physical things are transitory and must be returned to the giver. Nine gives freely and without fear. This is me. I give without fear. That's what I do. Um, and those things it has gained, nine gives freely and without fear. Those things it has gained so that the universe will be richer. Nines is the humanitarians carrying the light of wisdom. People are drawn to you because of your tolerance, your inner wisdom, your breadth of vision, which is often pro prophetic. And I'm a lie pipe number nine, so if y'all think I'm on the wrong pipe, well, <laughs> you're dumb. And uh, my, my money's coming to me because I have been taught about my dreams when I have them. I'll tell them to you. I don't have them all the time. But I do know how to interpret dreams, yes. Uh -huh. So if anybody ever had a dream and you want me to tell you what it means, I'll tell you what it means. Uh, you got to tell me, though, what it is. You got to, I guess, tell me. But the essence of six harmony after tasting experiences through its five senses, six realizes the importance of love, compassion, and social responsibility. The home built in the four must now be filled with love and meaningful relationships. Home also becomes part of the community in which law and order are established to ensure social harmony. So, um, you're in harmony. You will be in harmony after you release uh, this stuff that, these physical things that is transitory, it must be returned to the giver. Okay? So these people that had your throat chakra blocked off from speaking, it's getting returned back to them. They'll be needing the truth from someone and it'll not give to them. They won't be able to, to receive it. Look at my my Christmas gift that my husband got me collective. Now, I'm not doing nothing mean with this. I'm just showing you what he got me. This is my new knife. He told me not to use it in the kitchen, but this man that made it look, it's a Scorpio on it, death. Scorpion death. Death and rebirth. Ain't that funny? I told him that's what that meant. So, yeah. So that man, he must put a Scorpio on his knives. Whoever makes this. So, uh, but I like the color of the handle. Look at it. Ain't it beautiful? And look at all the, that's good still. We see that color right there. That means it's like a hundred times Damascus steel. I love my new little knife and I'm going to peel taters with it. <laughs> I'm going to use it in the kitchen because it's my kitchen knife. <laughs> see? Indian style. Indian style. Let's go on here. I like my Christmas gift. So I gotta give something back to him because nines does that. If if somebody gives me something, I give it back. I pass love on. You gotta let love reign in your heart, okay? <coughs> and then it says somebody might be like a lost soul who's shut inside. Maybe you're feeling shut inside and lost from the world at the moment. And you've been uh You're, you've been learning how to be more compassionate and and show this social responsibility. This is about your home. So so maybe people feels like you're a shut inside lost soul. Well, maybe we just like being by water. Oh, initiation by water. And it says your spiritual path involves you becoming a clear channel for spirit. Communicate with the higher with the higher guidance from the loving spiritual worlds. Your initiation will open your receiving channel. Dislodge lower vibes and sensitize you 
to the subtle realms of light. And I got that from the Light Workers Oracle. But that's what that it said in it. So maybe your gifts, you need to go out by the water and stop feeling so shut inside yourself. And you will uh, have an intuition about something. And it's about forgiving yourself. Release, I forgive myself for all things that I've done. I'm speaking it with my throat chakra right now. I open my throat chakra to say, I forgive myself for me, uh, the things I've done. I forgive myself for me blaming people for things that they didn't do. do. And I'm sorry to you all people. If I did that to you and y'all didn't do nothing to me, I'm sorry. And I hope you can forgive me. And that's just me saying that. That's what y'all need to do too. And, and remember, God tells us to love everyone. You got to love people that is mean to you. This shows God that you're a true person who loves all. See, I still love y'all. Even these people that was mean to me. That, you know, uh, this could be people that's mean to you all collective. That was in your social group. And it brought maybe uh, arguments to your home. But you got to forgive them people. And somebody might be born in 1996. Or somebody might be born in 1969. Or it might just be saying... Uh, this could be a cancer too, you know, like 69, the cancer. Uh, then we got moon, uh, you know, and cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water, look, initiation by water. Okay, so uh, learn to flow with the natural changes in life and don't fight against it. You gotta go with the flow, natural, you know, nature, it doesn't rush or hurry, it just, you're, you're growing. You're changing. That's what it is. You're, you're just growing naturally with these changes. And then we have transcendency. And, and transcendency. And this is by the events that's been seen or heard accident, accidentally. Blah, blah, blah. So uh, that's what that means. Uh, transcendency. And this is something that you heard or seen accidentally. That's what's hiding under the moon. You seen or heard something accidentally. To not fight against this walking away from somebody that you might have a home with or or law of uh, it's something about law. You act seen or accidentally heard something about the law, maybe. I don't know. That's what it's saying. And it also be saying that God lets you see and hear things accidentally that helps you to to show others this. Because you carry the light of wisdom. People's drawn to me because of my tolerance, my inner wisdom, my breath of vision, which is often prophetic. I'm sorry I had to put myself in a collective, but I did because I am a number nine. That's why I said that. So, I, and I know I've accidentally heard shit I wasn't supposed to. Yes, I did. I have a bunch in my life. Splanchal Monty. This is by examining the entrails of sacrificial victims. Oh, so you heard accidentally that that they was trying to sacrifice you. They You was going to be the sacrificial lamb. Or or you've heard these people say that, you're, that they're going around saying you're playing the victim. But I don't know. It might be saying blah, blah, blah. Somebody's liver is messed up. It might be saying this. Somebody's liver is messed up. And they might have a hepatitis or cirrhosis of the liver. Because that's what it affects. If you got help C or cirrhosis, it'll kill your liver. I'm telling you the truth. I know now. And, uh, and the reason I said that about hepatitis, because before I did this reading, uh, it I was doing a reading for myself, and that pulled out. That's why I said that, okay? Okay, so it said, don't let people throw you off your path. You're headed in the right direction. This person or people want to start an argument. Hey, you. Hey, you. You accidentally heard that this person is trying to sacrifice you. They're they're placing you in victim mode, and God is trying to show you that 
You need to love this person, even this person that hates you. They don't, that's being mean to you. You gotta forgive yourself for loving this person that was mean to you. And they're trying to still be mean to you. That's what it's saying for somebody in a collective. Now, who it is collective, I don't know, but it's somebody. And if you see a clown, then know that there is a secretive or silent person around you. Oh, clown. Clowny Clamertons, huh? That's why they c c c c c clam up around you. My idea, if I see it floating around in the collective, and in my bright, genius ideas, your fingers will be chopped off because God brings you right underneath my channel, and that's how I always know who's doing the thievery for me. Yeah, because I didn't see this shit. I know where it come from, do you all? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, but I know where I found it. I know. My brain's got a lot. You're never going to understand all of it. Okay, so uh, this this person is uh, trying to get you to fight because uh, they're, they're hiding a secret from you in your home. And God is telling you to love this person because they fucking secret. Don't fight against this change. Don't fight against it. A lawyer wants to take your case and to help you against your enemy. So it's, this might be your husband is trying to start an argument or your partner, whoever you're with. That might be what it is. They might have tried to, they might have tried to start an argument over pills, and you said, "Hey, motherfucker, I can't help it. You're going off and acting crazy." But you know, that's you. That ain't me. <laughs> I don't know. Something spirit just told me to say it. I don't know who that's for. But I guess you'll figure out. And then it says someone feels burdened in their relationship. Uh, you might be feeling like you've been lied to, collective. Uh, you might be suffering over a loved one that passed over or this person is and they can't let go of this loss or they can't let go of this whatever they feel lost with you they can't they can't put it past them they need to come to terms with the death and realize they're always in their heart yeah look they're always in the heart keep a bluebird in my heart so there ain't no use to feel burdened about this person that passed away and, and, and give yourself needless suffering because I always have my son in my heart and my brother that passed away and my stepmom that passed away. I got a lot of people that's passed away around me. Uh, so, I love them, you know. Grandpas, grandmas, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, they didn't want you to know. Uh, this is a karmic. This is a, during, you're in a karmic period at the moment. That's why your energy's in that frenzy energy. Uh, uh, and make sure to take your spiritual baths. Make sure to do it every night. Make sure, don't don't forget. But somebody has accidentally heard. Somebody has accidentally heard you're becoming a part of this established community. Oh, <laughs> but you gotta release them. That's what they accidentally heard. Did you hear that collect yourself? You're building a platform, they know you're you're going to become a part of that social, you know, society and that, whatever it is you're doing, they, they know it. They've seen and heard it accidentally that you're meant to be big. And uh, they're trying to sacrifice you, put, place you in victim mode. Hey, you, hey, you, I'm trying to start a fight over pills. Hey, you, I'm trying to start a fight over pills. And they're clamming up around you, and they fucking look like clammies, and they're breaking out and shit probably at the moment because they clam it up, and they know a secret. They know a secret that they're going around, and they can't keep their old habits, and they're going around buying their Coke or their meth or their pills or whichever that it is. I don't know, but it told you, here's what you need to do. You need to don't waste your fucking time and show the world your lovely self. Don't waste your time showing the real you. Look how beautiful and sexy you can get. You just got to show a lot of hard work and dedication. You'll be the sexiest mother sucker around. <laughs> That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. But somebody keeps you in their heart. They love you. you. You lay inside of their heart every day. Yeah. And they want you to come outside. They feel more fun when you're around and they want to adventure with you by the water. They want to adventure with you by the water because they love you. They love you. And they're having dreams of you at night. They're like kissing. And it might be a number eight. I don't know. And they might be saying, get out of this stupid ass energy because it's pissing me off. Get the fuck away and quit feeling burdened. Because a damn lawyer said you're going to win against the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Glenn? That's funny.
plenty of true for somebody, ain't it, Collective? We don't know who, but it's for somebody, Collective. It's for somebody now, Collective. Let's see what this says. <laughs> Look, how's he do it, Spirits? Look. It placed this. I got this angel card. Oh, oh. It put, let me see what it put in here. That didn't look good, but it did for me because it's the truth. For me, because that is what got me. Oh, I love you, my angel. Say, love you, my angel brother and son. You always tell. You always show them I'm true. You always do. And we thank you, and we love you for that. We love you for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yep, here's what it is. Here, 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 here. Look, the angels come to heal you and to administer to you in your time of need. See that? They're always with you. They never leave. You just got to call upon them and say, angels, will you handle this and help me figure out something? And they will. And what it says over here, somebody's uh, so-called friend or partner. I don't know. It's for whoever it is collected for you all. I don't know. They they might have put a contract on Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine's heads. And, and it might have been two people or more people involved in it. And the angels, the angels warned me so they couldn't take me. And I've told you so many times, ain't I? 2111, ain't I, Collective? I've told you so many times. So, we'll see what else it's trying to tell us, okay? Let's see what else it's trying to tell us. Doodle to dee da, but doodle to dee, and I'll tell you what to doodle dee. A boodle be beep dee, doodle be dee, and I'll tell you something tea too. Doodle to dee dee is our angel message. Oh, 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 oh. oh. La dee dee da da, but doodle be dee, and we'll tell you something here in a minute. Deedle dee dee dee, ba deedle dee dee, ba deedle ba doodle da da dee. Oh, deedle dee dee dee, and we'll tell you I love her, and doodle ba da da dee da dee. This is all I'm going to get, okay? Okay, so here what's what it said. Your angels gave you the gift of seeing beauty in all things collective. You are a beautiful soul, and you will show people the beauty in their selves, too. You are so beautiful. 22, 22. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, spiritual partner might love you and coming together in union. Oh, look. The angels, the angels led you to tell them already. <laughs> oh, somebody wants to give you some roses. They think you're so beautiful. That's what it is. You're going through a transition and change. Freedom and adventure. Independence. New love, interest. Go on adventures that light you up, collective. Twins, the universe is united. United. Oh, are you united? Are you? Are you okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, to give you to the best chance that you deserve. A new phase in life is coming. Nobody has permission to copy my numbers that I that I write on here. You get your fingers chopped out. Five, five, five. A five, five, five. <laughs> None of these, all these angel gifts are mine. You don't have permission to call because when I see them floating around, I'm going to know you got them from Pound Star Oracle for me. No, you didn't create it. I did. <laughs> Your angels gave you the gift of prophecy. Those people who receive true revelations about past, present, or future have the gifts of prophecy. This is an amazing blessing from the divine. Go by the water, huh? <laughs> somebody's, want, somebody's getting ready to change to live near the water. That's what it sounds. And and uh, the angels give you the gift to uh, be able to communicate about past, present, and future events. And I and I I've been able to do that. So a change is coming into your life. This is a new phase of your life. Keep your hope and faith alive. Keep going and don't worry up what people say about you, collective, because they always want to talk. Pay attention to what bosses are saying and doing, though, and learn from them. Open up to divine light and spirit. You're on the right path with your twin flame and you're reaping the rewards of all your hard work and it's all starting to show up in your life Ooh, 717 some of y'all might be with your twin but you're on the right path with your twin so that means they're on it with you that's what it means even if y'all ain't together but you're all getting ready to see all y'all's hard work is getting ready to show up huh it's showing up ding 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 oh what's it say here 
Your angels gave you the gift of empathy. You can put yourself in other shoes and feel how they felt in difficult and different situations because you're an empath. You got some big shoes to feel, baby, and I do, and that's why I wrote that card. Oh, and that's why, I, you know, I do this. Encouraging you to refocus. Your thoughts become actions. Let go of old, so law of attraction brings what you seek. Your destined for greatness also means your twin flame is close to you. Life is in perfect balance. See, 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 hi. My twin lives with me. Look, we got big shoes to feel. Ain't it funny? Ain't it funny? Oh, what else does it say? Your angels gave the gift of being a light worker. For all of humanity, you're meant to show other people how to get in line with their true calling. See? That's what I'm meant to do. For you all to figure out what you're all meant to do. Not everybody's meant to be a tarot reader. I'm just putting that out there. I know how to read energy now, though. I do know that much. And I know whose energy it is. Yep. And we'll get all these cards right here. Do a do dee, ba ba dee, do 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 da da dee. Spirit guides, can you tell us a funny story or something? And show these people who might have did the actual setups. It might tell us. You never know, Flake. You never know. You never know. You're connected to mermaids and Lemuria. Maybe you're linked back to Atlantis collective. Oh, wow. You've got a very old soul when you're linked back to Atlantis. Um, or you're, yeah, you and your twin lived in Atlantis. Y'all was really, you had a lot of wealth. And that's what killed them off was uh, their greed. Yep. Oh, that's what killed them off it was. And uh, your muscles or nerves are said to be psychic. And right before it rains, they tense up to, to, to prepare your body for it, for the rain. Did you know that? It does. So, you know, your your arms and things might hurt because it's raining. And I draw a woman standing on her tippy toes. Ah, <laughs> naked in the rain. Go out naked in the rain. Somebody wants to dance naked in the rain. It's because you're linked to Atlantis. Oh, and angels come out and says, angels on. Nobody has permission to call me my cards. Because, see, I draw cool ones, okay? And it says, angels on my head or angels on my bed. Angels in my car. My angels go with me near and far. Never will the angels leave us or stop giving us clues, collective. They will never stop leaving us or giving us clues. Our angels always help us. Hey, <laughs> angels on my head, angels on my bed. I need to finish that poem. But I like that card. I thought it turned out pretty cool. I mean, a lot of people will say, that looks like a little kid. Well, it looks good. I was the first artist. Over here, Pound Star Oracle. All these other channels that's got more subscribers than me. They all come copied on me. Yeah, they did. They did. And they want none of these cards floating around, but they, they seen that I had them because I was a newbie. And then all these readers, they did it. But it's okay. It is okay. Because <laughs> God tells them every day. And that's how they know I got angels on my head and angels on my bed. And angels in my car. They go with me every time. Every time they go with me. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for doing that. Angels go with me everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, it said, you're diving in head first. You ain't scared to make it on your own. That's me. Uh, that's by me, Pam. See? You're going to dive in head first, baby. Oh, gosh. Your angels is helping you to dive in head first. You ain't scared to do. You ain't scared to show people your psychic powers. You're not scared. You're not scared. You're diving right in. Your twin flame zone. You don't care. Oh, fate is the concept that our future or destiny has been predetermined, perhaps by some higher entity or deity. So fates can't wait to happen. It's fated that you and your twin flame will be reaping the rewards of all your all's hard work. Ah, oh, thank you, spirit guides. I love you. You know you do. All that spirit guides collective. Do you? Well, respect is the gift from the buffalo. So, people respect, people should respect me because I am an empath, and you need to respect me, and remember to stop stealing all my knowledge. 29, 29, because I'll tell every time, and I said 11, 11, twin flame, 
blending together like a wish twin flames. Crystal Monty. A method of fortune telling using crystals, either using them for scrying or by interpreting their behavior. So crystals you can well maybe this is saying you you help uh interpret and tell people uh others behavior that is going on behind the scenes and i do do that don't i collect it for you guys um but remember that right now the christ crystals is telling you and the angels is telling you that you that you need to refocus because your thoughts is going to become an action you got to let go of this of the old so the law of attraction brings what you seek. So whatever you've been thinking about in your head, you need to really let go of it. Say, I let go of this divine. I pray that you take this away from me and you make it stop coming into my head all the time. That's what you're going to do and it'll come to you. Bing, I promise it will. See? But I'm in my true calling. Oh, and I love spirit guides because they always tell. And uh, we're a light worker for all of humanity and we're meant to show other people how to get in line with their true calling and to tell the truth. And hiding in the shadows like a thief in the night. In and out like a flash. Now you see me, now you don't. Oh, so there's a little thief coming around. And I'm telling on him right now. And I know who it is. I know who you are, thief -ker. Do you know who you are, thief -ker? I know you know who you are. Cowpoke Express. Poke them on, poke them off. We don't care. We'll poke them any which way we can poke them. But they love to poke you when you're down. So, they're the ones in the background hiding, hiding and uh, watching you get in line with your true calling. Well, good. You just exposed yourself, our bud roll. I did it, but you did. You exposed yourself. Not me, you did. You did. <laughs> yep. They're paying attention to everything you say because they know I'm a true prophet, and I know the fucker does, and I know what that says up her, so you tell on yourself every time. Telling yourself every time. What else? What else is it, Spirit Guides? What else is it? Oh, Potomancy. Potomancy. By studying the soles of the feet. Oh, they're in love with your feet. They want to take your little toes. They want to uh, something gross. I don't know. Somebody's in love with toes. I'm not. I don't love toes. Somebody loves your toes. The, oh, but all this means is you can study the souls of anyone that comes on my channel. I'm going to pick your energy up. 32, 22, and eventually somebody's going to fucking know I'm true. Because they know. They know I'm in my true calling. And nobody's going to get me out of it. Uh-uh. You can't. Because the angel said no. The angel said no. And why are you over here fucking with this woman, sir? You actually tried to have her, somebody harm her right from across from where her vehicle was and you knew where they lived. So it tells exactly who you are. Oh, poke, 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 I told you. Oh, keep poking around and you'll get told on. By the way, I can't help it. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Ecclesiastes 3.11. Oh, Ecclesiastes 3.11. So you're beautiful. Right in the nick of time. They thought they'd poke you. And even if that person ain't watching that means all these people that's been poking you and your angels knows they've been poking you, they're going to get theirs. That's all it means. That's all it means. That's all it means. And it says, you're a star child. Yeah, you're a star child collected. Look how beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, maybe it's Saturn Return out here for Cowpoke Express. I don't know, but it might be Saturn Returns happening. <laughs> oh, someone who has stars in their eyes means... To be very hopeful and excited about things which you expect to happen to you in the future. But you can also be naive. Yeah. So, star childs, yeah. You all have stars in your eyes. And you're, you're a little naive. And, and I can tell you when people are naive and on my page because their energy pulls out. But this man is going to send you some roses. Oh, red, the Red Rose Cold Company. So this naive person thinks that they're your star child twin and they're going to send you some roses. But that, I don't think that is. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know for you all collected, but I don't, I don't know. But I know it ain't for over here, okay? Oh, uh, four, the essence of four, security. It suggests solid foundations and perimeters that contain and protect. The determined and conservative four works hard to provide strong fences 
and squire meals for nourishment. Practical, cautious, reliable, the salt of the earth. So this naive person is going to send you some roses, Star. Uh, they're just, uh, they, they feel stability with you. That's all it is. Now they want to work with you, but they seem to forget all, all the poking that they did when we was down. And you could be a Swami, a Hindu priest, or a yogi. One who has attained mastery over yourself. You're pure because you see the future. You're pure. You've mastered yourself. Yeah. Yep. Well, huh? You've mastered yourself. And give someone a pat on their back today just for... Just just so you can brighten up their day a bit. You need to tell somebody they say, Dad, I post that, Dad, I go. Maybe these people that used to poke you and poke you when you was down, they're going to see you some roses. They're expecting you. They're expecting you to forgive them. Now they want to offer you more stability. That's what it's saying. In the near future. Because you help them to see their future. That's what it's saying. And it says the essence of one, activation. One is the seed, the beginning, when the life force is self-compelled to move out, to explore and confront newness. It is original and individualistic because it is uninfluenced by previous experiences. It does not know that things cannot be done. It proceeds with complete faith to do them. One is the pioneer facing the unknown with an innocent courage, it draws upon its own creative will to solve any problems that arise. So all your problems that arise, you know how to solve them. And people around is finally noticing in the community. And somebody also might be that was poking at you. Now they're in, now they now they want to tell you they appreciate you. But you gotta remember they was in like a thief in the night. They're stealing from you all the time in the shadows. So. Remember, when you get roses, it come from the thief. Huh? So you can't send me roses now. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I told the secret. Darn it, you can't. Darn it, y'all hate me because I always get it. I always get it. Darn it, darn it. Y'all wish you had all my information. Darn it, darn it. You can't steal everything I do, but everybody loves to. But it's all right. Collective, I love them. I love you all that stole from me because you tell it on yourself. And we're so gently on my channel. You're telling on yourself, everybody that hurt me and, and tried to hurt me, you, you tell on yourself. It all comes out ever so gently the way it's supposed to. Okay, now let me do a little hat box reading. Hat box reading for me and my collective. We're going to do a hat box reading for me and you, my collectives, and we're going to see what it says. Hang on. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I don't want to know what it says. I like being uh, surprised too. Okay. Something fell on my lap. Spirit, tell all these people, please. Tell us a good story and tell all the people. That's all we really want to know. Spirit's going to tell us. Don't go anywhere, guys and gals. I'll show you something true real soon. Do, 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 do. And I appreciate you guys. I really love you so, and I hope you listen to what I tell you, cause it is a good something. Ooh, one throw right on my booby. We'll get it. We don't know what it said, but we'll get it. We will get it, collective. We're gonna get it. Get it good. We're gonna get it. Whip it. Whip it good. Somebody might do whippets out here. I don't. <laughs> but that energy come in. Whip it. Whip it. Whip it good. 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 Wh
We was friends all throughout school. Yeah, this girl, her name was, her initials is JD. And if you're all from my school, you remember old JD. She was funny. She had short hair. And she got into bad things. And it took her life at a real young age. But Spirit's going to tell us something. Don't worry. Do, 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 but do, 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 I love Spirit so much. Don't go on with it, I know it takes a minute, but it will be oh. Okay, baby, it will be okay, baby, it will be okay, I promise, it's going to be okay. <laughs> Ooh, what it said, oh, God almighty, what it said now, e a little, little dee -dee. it said, picnic with some KFC, huh? I wrote that because we used to go in these caves back home at Spurlock Cave, and it's the biggest cave you'll ever see, and my name's wrote on it, and somebody else's. Uh, from when I was a teenager. But we used to take KFC up our when I was a little girl. We'd eat chicken. 4111. <laughs> Remember, everyone on earth is very flawed. No one is without flaws in this life, honey. So don't feel bad if you're flawed. We all are. We all are. Every one of us. Waves. Then it says ocean. I want to read it in a minute a different way. I love the new me. I'm allowed to make mistakes and not beat myself up about these mistakes. I learn from them to be stronger than before. See? That's right there under everyone's flawed. Oh, and somebody wants to, uh, might be wanting to ride your wave. Taurus. Taurus wants to ride your wave. They think they have you figured out, but they don't know one damn thing about how spirit helps me out. <laughs> oh, okay. They want to. They want to eat a pig. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me see. Yeah, they want to take you to a picnic. <laughs> it says, "Keep watching. I'll show you something that you'll never forget." Oh wow! Did you hear that? So here what it says. It says they think they have you figured out now, collective. But they don't know one damn thing about me and how spirit helps me. I love this new me. I am allowed to make mistakes and not beat myself up. I learn from them to be stronger than before. And even if you have mistakes with a Taurus, you know, keep watching. I'll show you something that you'll never forget. Mm -hmm. But whoever it is, they're trying to ride your wave. Keep trying to steal my vision. See? See? See, they're riding your waves. They keep trying to steal your vision. And they do. That's why I keep saying that. Oh, and uh, men that has so much to prove, or women, the goofies, they need to heal from their mommy or daddy issues that stems from abandonment and abuse or whatever it is from their parents. So, uh, so somebody is watching you, and you're showing them something they'll never forget. Uh, try to take me down, and you'll see what happens next. <laughs> and it says, seek legal counsel. They're skilled manipulators trying to get one over on you. Oh, thank you for that spirit, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go skinny dipping, baby. Ooh, somebody wants to go. Somebody wants to go skinny dipping with you now. And and it might be a Taurus, and they want to do it with you. And they know that these people keep stealing your vision in waves, in waves. They come like waves. And legal counsel's uh, watching and going to help. Don't worry. Oh, and something about uh, you almost died from the poison he or she fed you. Ooh, wow, somebody, that's why you got to go to court. Whoever did that to you. And if you make me feel like shit, wow, I wonder how you treat me when I'm not around your ass. So whoever this person is, they treat you bad. Let me see how many left to you. I know this. Oh. 
trust your ancestors are coming to take them out. That's what it said. Okay, now I'm going to do the next pile. Next pile. So remember, somebody wants to go eat some chicken with you. But uh, this person, uh, they think they have you figured out. They've been trying to take you down. And, 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 then, and, uh, and that's all it was. But you're like, try to take me down. And you're going to see what happens next. And if you make me feel like shit, hey. Wonder how, wonder how you're getting treated when your person ain't around and they're blowing around your mouth, uh, right around your back. Ugh. Wonder how you get treated when I'm not around you. That's what it's saying. They treat you like real dog shit. That's what it means. And uh, you almost died from the poison he or she fed you. You need to seek legal counsel. And it could have been a, a Taurus since that's the only sign came out. So don't get mad. Don't get mad. That's why I did that. I have to say it like that. I, I don't know who it is, but it's for someone. But remember, everyone is flawed on earth, and no one is without flaws. And we know this. And we know that they kept trying to steal your vision in waves. And it's these men and women that has so much to prove. They're idiots. They don't know how to heal from their mommy and daddy issues. But they keep doing readings, and they, they are stealing everything. That's all they know how to do. All they do is keep watching. So keep watching and I'll show you something that you're never going to forget. That's what I'm telling. That's what I'm telling. So trust that my ancestors is coming to take you all out. People that was against me and my collective. They're coming. Don't worry, collective. Don't, don't worry. They're coming. It's something about by the ocean. Let's go skinny dipping. I love the new you and, and I love all your mistakes. And I want to learn with you and be stronger than before. That's somebody. And I think that meant to be with this right here. It's your twin flame. That y'all speak with each other through telepathy. They feel you all the time. And it said, uh, in two weeks, I mean, in four weeks on Friday, you're going to go on a short trip with your divine masculine. And it says in 10 hours, He's going to make you fall in love with him. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in four weeks, you're in twin flames. You're going, to, you're going to fall in love just over again. Yeah. You will. From today. Today's Friday. So four weeks. <laughs> Someone wants you to read cards for them. They're going to reach out here soon and email you to read them. Oh, wow. That's what it said. Okay, and it says Aquarius, Aquarius sign, wind and water. Ooh, Aquarius, they're going to reach out for you to read it, to do it, to do a reading for them. <laughs> I love spirit. So I said, Twin Flame wants you to clean their house. That's what it sounds. And let's go fishing and boating at the lake. Ooh, God's our body. And then it says, Guy for you. Ooh, they want you to read them whoever this guy for you is. Aquarius and it's Aries. <laughs> oh, it said, Somebody might be feeling like their life is an illusion at the moment. But you're the most powerful businesswoman they've ever saw, and you keep up the hard work, sis. This middle-aged man is uh, this middle-aged man is rooting for you. Hang on a minute. Let's see which one else it was trying to say. It's, they said, "I really enjoy our talks. You make me feel great with your quirky mind." Hey, <laughs> oh, did you hear that? You you make me feel great with your quirky mind, and they're saying. No, no, no. Your life is not an illusion. Your, your life is not an illusion. Clean your house and go to Twin Flame. <laughs> I think it's just saying you felt like it was an illusion. Or they did. But it was because they had to clean their house. Meaning they had to clean people out of their life that they didn't need anymore. You helped them to realize that. That's what they want to talk to you about. If they ain't no comparison with you. To you, with anyone else, this person loves you. You're very powerful. They love you. And uh, this person that wants to read you, it's a, a guy friend, a middle-aged man, and they've been cursing you out. Someone curses you out. So it might be saying, this middle-aged man has been cursing you out, and this guy friend wants to tell you that. They're going to tell you. 
And they're wanting to tell you about they've been speaking to meth heads. These meth heads are involved with cursing us out. And someone keeps uh, dreaming of snakes at night, and it's due to the shit that they ain't saying to you. So listen, meth heads and middle-aged man that's cursing me out. You keep dreaming of snakes because you're lying. You're lying about that. And you're supposed to want the best for me and you. And you want me to eat shit and die. And this man up here is like, no, no, we don't want you to eat shit and die. We don't want you to eat shit and die. We we, we love you. This person ain't really your twin. You need to cut ties with it is what it's saying. Uh, and because you're a highly sensitive empath and you know your energy. I know my fucking energy. And when people try to place their energy as mine and say I'm worthless and shit and I, I, I start everything and I don't know how to finish, that's a lie. I know how to finish my task. I do. So, whatever. There's no comparing to your uh, empathic, sensitive being. 50-50, 10, 10. Mm. It's all happening in divine timing, whatever it is. This is about closing out cycles. Closing out cycles, collective. That's what it's talking about now. But remember, these snakes, these snakes uh, might be dreaming of coming around you at night. A meth head snake might be dreaming of coming around you at night. They're gonna, they're gonna clean your house. Look, these meth heads was involved in cleaning your house. It looks like they, somebody has took one, and somebody's cursing us out, and it's this middle-aged man. That's making you feel like your life is an illusion. It's 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 not. It's true that you have a twin flame. So don't believe that man. They're lying to you. They know you have a twin. I don't know who it's for. It's for one of you all. They know that you're their twin and they love you. Whoever you are, man or woman, they know. And uh, this guy friend or girlfriend might be an Aries or an Aquarius. But they want to do a reading. They want to get a reading from you and they want to... Go to the lake and play with you. In four weeks, they want to make, they want to fall in love with you. <laughs> it said in four four weeks you're gonna go on a day trip. You and divine masculine, and divine feminine, they're gonna make you fall in love with them. Now that's what it says. No comparison, no comparison to you. It might be in two or four weeks. It just depends on whenever they want to come tell you. Yeah, I don't know, you know, but. They really enjoy your talks, and you make them feel great with your quirky mind. They love it. They love it. They love your quirky mind, Aquarius, and somebody wants to tickle your feet. <laughs> somebody wants to take some toenail polish and sit down and color your toenails. <laughs> That's what it is now. They know that your soul is old and beautiful, and they love every part of you. It don't matter if you look like crap. They love you still. And look. Look what my shirt says. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 it says, just hanging with my nomies. We're hanging with our nomies. <laughs> We've been hanging with our nomies. Oh, let me fix my evil eye necklace. Because these people that sent it to me, I sent it back. See, we sent an evil eye back. Oh, we go. <laughs> we got to do it collectively. We say, Nadine, clear the energy. No weapon formed against us can harm us. Or me. That's what I'm saying to us collective, okay? Let me see. Let me just see what one of these little messages say. No, I didn't do no tarot. And if you didn't like it, I can't help it. My channel's called Pound Star Oracle. It didn't say Pound Star Tarot. <laughs> Remember that, okay? Remember that part. Remember that part. I give Oracle messages. That's what I do. Oh, this feels way too good to be true. Something feels way too good to be true at the moment, collective. And it says, somebody feels down and out without you, and they're need I'm needing you. This feels too good to be true. Is this shit true? It's true. It must be true. <laughs> it must be true that they're needing you. It must be true. Let go and detach so it can come to you and magically appear. So let go and detach. If you really want that person, just let it go to the divine. So it'll magically appear. I done told you. That's all you got to do. So you can be feeling fat and happy and grateful like that fat little kitty cat that I grew up drawed right there. My artist skills. Do you love my artist skills? I do too. <laughs> I do too. I do pretty good sometimes. 
Honey, you know, you know more than you think you do. Oh, honey, you know more than you think you do right now about this. Something's feeling too good to be true. You know something ain't right. You're feeling like it. Please forgive my foolish ways. So, so they're wanting you to forgive them. They're wanting you to forgive them for something they done. And would you want me if I was rich? It's saying, would you want me if I was rich? Please forgive my foolish ways. Maybe you was foolish in thinking somebody was rich. I don't know, but you th you know more than you think you do about something foolish. How these people was trying to get rich off of your ideas, but it's getting ready to magically appear to you. Would you want me if I was rich? You're, I know what it means. Your face looks younger than people in their 20s, Divine Feminine. You're feeling fat and happy and grateful and just happy with yourself and love yourself. Oh, how do I get you to fall for me? Ooh, this person's like, this feels way too good to be true. I feel so blessed with you. And it said, Divine Masculine, your shoulder was made especially for me, Divine Feminine. My head fits smoothly like a glove. That's for me, Pound Star Oracle. So remember, when you say it fits smoothly like a glove, that come from Pound Star Oracle a long time ago, and they stole it the next day on the channel. But we know it. It's all right. You can regurgitate it. You keep running through my mind all day long. They're like, running, 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 running through your mind all day long. Maybe you need to let go of becoming rich. So let go of that attachment and you do a cord cutting and let go of that so it doesn't run through your mind and it'll just magically appear. And, and I let it go. I've done let it go. A true twin God relationship from long ago. <laughs> See, that's me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm grateful for it. Are you grateful for it? Are you all grateful for it collective? Because did you notice how it's talking about it again? They want, they want you to fall for them, this person now. Please never doubt a true love that you're sure of. Don't doubt a true love. You know if you're a true love, you feel it. And I know I have it, and I love my divine last one. A spirit baby wants to be brought down to earth. Oh, this little spirit baby wants to come to you now. Because whoever this is, you, you're going to fit them like, you fit them like a glove. They need you. And they're saying, let me work my magic on you, divine feminine. Shit, it fell on the floor. It's sad. Let me work my magic on you, Divine Feminine. Oh, gosh, they can't stop thinking of you day and night, day and night now. It said, all my love for you could never fit on a card. All my love for you could never fit on a card. That's for me, Pound Star Oracle. Don't steal it. It could never, it, it just couldn't feel a card, your love. This is a true twin God relationship from long ago, collective. And... I'm sure there's one or two of you all in my collective that has this also, okay? I'm sure. I'm sure of it. I am sure of it. But you all been taking things a little slow. You've been doubting this love. It's been going slow. It's like been going real slow. And... This person uh, don't want it. What did it say? This person, when they don't, when they don't do what he tells them. So this person knows that it's been slow because this person tells you to do everything. They, you know, it's like this person needs you. This person that feels down and out that needs you. They, they know that you do something that another person tells you to. to. If they tell you to do something, you do it. That's what it's saying. You're a people pleaser. Learn to tell a truth to me for once in your life. That's what you're telling us, Divine Master. You're saying, Divine Master, learn to tell me a truth for once, please. Could you tell me the truth first? You're bringing the above into your life below onto earth at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. And I like that reading. Did y'all like my reading? I did. I did. And remember to hit subscribe over here at Pound Star Oracle. I'll always try to give you a message. And I love you, Collective.
And I pray that this helps somebody. It's already on 59, 53. And I'm going to have to get off here. But remember, it's been slow. But don't doubt a true love that you're sure of. Please never doubt a true love that you're sure of. That's my mean. Please never doubt a true love that you're sure of. Go back and steal it, women. I know how much you're all in love with me. Some of you women on here, and it's okay. Just keep eating it up and eating up all the information because it does say it, that everybody knows that it's true. Everybody knows it's true. They know who the true one is. And they want you to fall for them now. They want to bank. They, somebody is going to be getting pregnant out here. After y'all finally come together, I don't think you're all talking to each other. You ain't. But they're wanting to work their magic on you. They, can, they think of you all day long. They're like... What, would you want me if I was rich? And you're like, no, it's nothing about that. You got to let go of me and thinking about it all the time. So all this will magically appear in your life. Do you get it? That's all you got to do. That's it. It was that plain and simple for whoever needed to hear that. So you're bringing the above into your life below on earth. And, and all my love for you can never fit onto a card. A true twin God relationship from long ago. Your face looks younger than people in their 20s. We're just feeling fat and happy and grateful to be alive. <laughs> That's what it's saying, Collective. All right, Collective. I love y'all. I hope that helped you because I think it did. And I appreciate you all. Make sure to say something down there to me. A bunch of you all today so it'll get around. And I thank you and I appreciate you. And God appreciates you. All right. Peace. I love you guys.